I'm not on. Okay. So we're demonstrating reverb with the synth unit. Okay. Uh, and to just show you um, what is going on inside, what what happens inside of the synth is that we actually have what's called a spring reverb. Okay. Uh, and you may have, in using your DAW, seen a spring reverb uh, setting. Okay. Uh, but if you uh, have a piece of hardware that is a spring reverb, it literally has a spring inside which sends the audio current down it, okay? And because it's a winding path of, 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 of coiled metal, the electricity takes a very nonlinear path through it, okay? That's, what's cre that, that's what creates the reverb effect, is by sending the audio signal down this reverb inside of an isolated chamber, okay? Um, we can hear that if we just simply connect our uh, synthy the reverb alone. So if you take a pin, and actually, I, in watching the videos, I found that the the uh, black ones don't show up very well. So make sure you pick a non-black one. There we go. Okay. So uh, yellow. Go ahead and place that at A14. That will connect the spring reverb to our output. And if I just simply do this, oh, you're gonna make. Oh, I have to turn it on. Hey, let's try this. Okay. Turn these off. So that's going to the turn it up. A little bit of ground on there. I'm not hearing it. Where are you? Reverb. Signal outputs. Left and right. It is not turned up. Uh, I just turned up here. So why am I not getting the signal? hearing it up there. I was hearing it when I had this. Oh, those are turned down. Let's try turning those up. There it is. Can you hear that? That's actually the electrified spring kind of wobbling, okay? So you will, if you're moving it around, you'll hear that kind of booming. That's the spring wobbling around that has, that has audio current running through it, okay? So you can actually get sound out of it just by connecting it uh, by itself. But you didn't come here to hear just a spring. You want to hear sound with reverb on it. So let's add some sound to it. So go ahead, you've got A14. Go ahead and uh, connect to G3. And this is going to give us a slowly modulating oscillator. And go ahead and connect I6. So now this is going to control your modulation. This is going to control your ma main frequency. So go ahead and change those around. Everybody hear what the reverb adds to the sound overall? OK. Okay, and we're sending it all to the left channel right now because it's, it's all connected to channel one output. But you could add, uh, if you want to send it to both channels, go ahead and add pin, uh, let's see, C14 should do it. Now it's in both channels, okay. Uh, and this is a point that I wanted to make sure I, I, I made that you can. Uh, you can have multiple pins per row or per column. It's just that you're sending the signal multiple places at that point. Okay, I want to make sure you understand that point. That's completely possible. Completely with uh, okay. Okay. Um, so we've got our oscillator. Go ahead and pull these two pins out. Okay. Let's try introducing some mic input, shall we? Uh, so we've got this mic connected to input one. So you should see on here. Um, something that says input channel one here, okay? Um, so if you go ahead and connect that G8, row eight is the mic is the input that I plug this microphone into, and G is going to send it to the reverb to the reverb, yeah, okay. And so now, if you talk in that microphone, it should go through the reverb. You want to? Yeah, I cleaned it before this demonstration, so it should be good. Hello. Oh. No. Nope. Do I need to?
you turned it up? Oh, or is my um, come on. input level is up? Yeah? Hello. Tap on it. Ooh, OK. That is not the mic that I was testing out earlier. So let's go ahead and disconnect that one. Uh, I do need to clean this one because I was using it earlier. Or maybe I can demonstrate this. How about you control the input? Test one, two. Oh, we're not getting level. Oh, come on now. This is going to be really sad if this did not work. Does not work after so much testing in my office. Uh, uh, uh. Is it there? Uh, 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 uh. Okay. You see what I mean about okay? If you're not comfortable sharing microphones and cleaning and all this sort of stuff, just this is where you have to be. It has to be really high level going in in order to activate the the reverb. Okay. But I can, uh, I don't know, create all kinds of screams. Okay, and produce all some fun results. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. So thank you, Nick. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay. Okay.